we've got an election coming up here and I'd love to just put you in the scenario. You get, you get put into office, you're handed over the budget for medical spending in the U S what are some of the first things that you're doing with that power, wow. um, that ability to just reform some policy? Like, what are you looking at first? I I'd love to just understand kind of where we can start to make some change if, if you were put into a position to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I, if I stay alive, uh, <laughs> um, you know, the, the reality is that I would, I would, I would be like, Hey, look, you know, the, the, this country is the wealthiest country in the world. And we are the sickest country out of all the industrialized nations. And we have all of these outcomes, like um, the, the, the infant mortality rates is num the, no the number one worst in all the industrialized nations. Like, why are we, why are we the worst in all these different categories is because of the way that the, the system is set up. So what I would do is I would be like, I would just rip it. I would, I would, quote unquote drain the swamp of the of the the medical establishment and i would take away the um the ability for them to advertise on tv to manipulate the minds of uh people um to you know you're watching these people running through the fields and you're like you're feeling terrible and you're like you've got that condition say it's lupus or something and you're like i want you know i i need to get this medication right and so I did, like for the one medication that actually works to the 99 that are not, are actually causing more damage right I would I would just pull that whole system like let New Zealand be the only country in the world not just America and New Zealand to be the one that is able to directly advertise to to people I would also um take I would I would like literally rip through the FDA the FDA has, you know, all the the heads of Monsanto are then working for the FDA, and then they go back and they start working for Monsanto and all these pharma companies. It's like you see this revolving door of the FDA, um, where you you've got these leaders of these companies that are, you know, uh, are 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 also leaders of the FDA, and then they go back to being the leaders of these big mega billion dollar companies, multi billion dollar companies. I would be like, look. From now on, we are going to start funding and putting money towards what prevents disease. We're going to build the healthiest culture in America. We're going to partner with like wearable companies to start getting, you know, data on, you know, the health of people on a regular basis and looking at their sleep and looking at their stress levels and what we can do as a government to minimize and mitigate um a lot of the the underlying issues that cause poor sleep that cause like high levels of stress readiness scores being really um poor etc and then just literally watch as we change the USDA food pyramid <laughs> you know I'd probably recruit you to help me with that yeah and let's then, go <laughs> <laughs> and, and and then and then I would I would incentivize companies to actually produce um, more natural strategies and ways of getting people, you know, healthy and well. If you look at the at the at the budget for what goes into preventative medicine, which should be what like ninety nine percent goes into, it's like it's like nothing. It, it is so it's such a joke. So I would flip that on its head, and I would put all all of our efforts into what can we do to prevent cancer, not just you know, not just um, treat it once we have cancer, because once you already have, you know, uh, uh, once you have rats infested in your house, like you, you obviously want to figure out like, well, why did the rats get in the house in the first place? You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh. hey, there's a hole in the wall. Why don't we close the hole in the wall? You know, so, yep. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are, you know, I would be putting uh, money into preventative, changing the FDA, changing USDA uh, uh, system. I would also make it illegal for people like Anthony Fauci to be able to, to, to make as much money as he made during COVID because of patents that he held, et cetera. Like I would, I would completely shift and transform healthcare to the point where people like this country is the happiest, healthiest country in the world. And we are 
thriving at a level that we've never thrived before. And think about the productivity and the economy. If you have a, a, a country that is healthy and happy, you know, you, you have a country that is creative, innovative, and economically thriving. I I aligned with my one of my business coaches, uh, Dan Sullivan from Strategic Coach, that said there's not there's not a, a, any problem big enough that human innovation and creativity and collaboration and synergistic relationships working together can't solve. And I was like, that's a beautiful way to think about it. Like we can ultimately solve any problem, and all these quote unquote phony crises that are happening nowadays you know, they can be addressed by, you know, true people standing up for, for truth and, and moving towards, you know, creating a system that's actually going to address causes versus treat effects. Mm. Dude, you've got me ready to run through a brick wall right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. No, there's, there's just so much creative um, creativity that would be unlocked through fixing these health problems. Like, uh I just think about the potential that is left on the bone with people who are struggling unbeknownst to them with underlying health conditions that are just a product of a broken system. Yeah. And if we, if, if, and it would take radical change. And, and one of the things that I think is it maybe I would love to get your take on this, but the paralysis around policy and healthcare is totally driven by a need for the data to prove X, Y, Z. And there's just this gate kept nature to the data that makes it so the policy just is so behind. Like yeah. we're not we're not aggressive with the policy that we're pushing because it's it's just underfunded and underrepresented. But it's if you look back a hundred years ago, it's that's how the world was and, and people were healthier. So yeah, it's just I, I think people are waking up to it and I just envision a, a US that just totally transforms over the next several decades for this, like starting with taking care of your health and just then like all the positive things that flow downstream of that, like better yeah. family lives, businesses and creativity thriving, you know, people yeah. actually being happy and joyful. Um, there's yes. just such a spirit to, to good health that you really, you don't understand it until you have it. So true. You know, when I did this longevity test, um, you know, my 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 age, my biological age, if you look at it, the, the various biological clocks of the body is 27 and I'm in my 40s. And so it's cool because, you know, we know that there are things that you can do to completely change the biological age of your body, to live younger, to look younger, to, to live younger, so that we are, when we, we, we turn 100, we're, 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 we're essentially turning 30 biologically. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be the yeah. goal is a hundred is the new 30. And so like my friend, Jeffrey Gladden says, so I, I would, I would just like, I can't imagine if we keep people healthier longer, like we, we don't have a population based issue in this world. We, we have an innovation creativity based issue in this world and a, uh, a red tape government, you know, monopoly that's that's creating issues that that that's holding us back from our full potential and so i truly believe that you know and by the way like if you look at countries like japan i mean they're they're like they, they have massive population problem because not many people were having babies right so now they're mm -hmm. like oh my gosh their economy could collapse in the future just because of what's what's happening over there but i mean we have an opportunity to revolutionize and pioneer a new model of healthcare in the way that that we can truly uh, live and be in the in the healthcare uh, system. And you know, and and I I think it's people like you. I just want to put my hat off to you, Harry, and your partner for like getting this message out there, having a platform where people can learn truth that they can learn about nutrition, they can learn about true healthcare, they can learn about. Um, things that that will inspire them and lift them up versus tear them down. I mean, it is just awesome that that that, that there's people like you out there that are doing things like this.